Online. I'm Carissa Jiejie. I'm Jiejie Angel. I'm Auntie Lian. Now let's start our service today with a word of prayer. God, I lift my hands to you. Speak to me, and so that I'll be able to learn more about you today. Help me see your hands work in me. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Now let's have our worship team to lead us into a session of praise and worship. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my heart cannot do for you. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. The mountains are His, the valleys are His, the stars are His. Work to the mountains are his, the valleys are his, the stars are his handing work to faster. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. There's God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. My mountains are his, the valleys. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. The mountains are His, the valleys are His, the stars are His, and He will do. The mountains are His, the valleys are His, the stars are His, and He will do. My name is Joseph. We are in day thirty of the forty days fasting and prayer. We hope that your fasting journey has been good. Today's prayer points are as follows. Pray that we will know God's heart and His intention for our lives, so that we will ask for the right things and be fruitful in our prayers. Pray that our school will help us grow in all areas. So that we will not only have book knowledge and skills, but also good characters and healthy relationships. Pray that the Christians working in the Mandric group will help giving give the children and youth biblical values and understanding. Let's continue to preserve and not fall for the temptations that come. Our way during our fasting period. Let us also pray without ceasing for our nation. God bless you. We are in a series of small but big, and this week we're gonna learn from a guy in the New Testament called Felix. You can read all about him in Acts chapter twenty-three, verse twenty-three, all the way till Acts chapter twenty-four, verses twenty-seven. And today's key verse that I want you to remember. Is from First Corinthians chapter one verse eighteen from the Good News translation, and it goes like this: For the message of Christ's death on the cross is not nonsense to those who are being lost, but for us who are being saved, it is God's power. Who was Felix? Felix was a cruel and bad Roman governor, like a government minister of Judea. He was appointed by Emperor Claudius. Felix's story began in the book of Acts, where when Paul was arrested in Jerusalem for preaching the gospel. Now, kids, back then preaching the gospel where Paul was was actually against the law. There are still countries in the world today where preaching the gospel and telling about Jesus are against the law and will end you up in jail. That was what happened to Paul. Now, how did Paul meet Felix? Then, some Jews were looking to kill Paul, so a Roman commander quickly took him away to another place called Caesarea, so that Paul's case could be handled by Governor Felix. Now, we thought that Paul would be in good hands, right? Nope, he was not. Governor Felix did not handle his case immediately. Rather, he postponed it until Paul's accusers could be present for the hearing. 
Finally, when everyone had arrived, Paul's hearing began. Paul denied the charges brought against him, pointing out that his actual accusers were not present. Governor Felix then postponed Paul's hearing until the Roman commander who arrested Paul could be present. This went on and on and on. With all the waiting, Felix and his wife had the opportunity to listen to Paul's teaching about faith in Jesus. But when Paul Felix heard about self-control and judgment, he grew afraid and stopped Paul. He never came to the point of making a decision to follow God, but instead chose the path to not be saved. Because of that, Paul was kept in jail two years while Felix searched for a convenient time. Felix had hoped that Paul would bribe him. This was also to please the Jews. In the end, the path Felix chose caused the loss of his governorship and was accused of cruelty and corruption. And the key points for today, we only have one, which is God's way may not be easy. You see, in the story of Felix, there are many people who are interested in and or compelled by the gospel. But when they realize that they need to surrender or let go, things like status, power, or control of their own lives, they just back away. Felix knew Jesus through Paul, and he saw the truth in Paul's case as well. But his fear, his stubbornness, his pride refused to just accept it. It's kind of similar like Judas, you know, one of the disciples that who betrayed Jesus. He too knew the truth, you see, and even walked with Jesus. And in the end, despite knowing the truth, he still chose to walk away. Sometimes, kids, it is hard to make a stand, all right? It is hard to make a stand and choose God. It's tough at times, I know. But, and Felix is an example of a man who procrastinated in his work as well and in his salvation. So let's not go towards where Felix chose to walk on. This week, we'll be doing a craft on Felix. Felix is a gauner which Paul was given to so that he could hold Paul's trial. However, Felix didn't want to do it, so he kept delaying and giving excuses. In this craft, we will show Paul in prison asking, Why is gauner Felix delaying? Here are the materials that you will need. One A4 paper, a pair of scissors, glue, a black paper, and some pens and color pencils. So let's start. First, you need to take a black paper and cut them into strips. I've already have some black paper strips cut out. Okay. Now what you do is take the A4 paper and draw Paul. So this is his hair. This is his face. His hair, his ears. And then his beard. His eyebrows. His eyes. Nose. And mouth. So here is his shirt. And his legs. The next step is take your black paper strips and use a glue and glue at the back of it so like this and place it 
on top of the white paper so they look like gel bars You can also color in his shirt. Now, at the side here, Draw a speech bubble and write Governor Felix delayed me. Why? And that's the end of the craft. Now, for you older kids, we have included some discussion questions where you can discuss with your daddy and mommy about today's lesson. Here are the questions. What are things that we will eagerly do no matter when it is asked? And what are things that we delay or procrastinate doing every single time? And how often have you chosen something else? Example, playing online games or watching YouTube over God's things, for example, like attending church or reading the Bible. Hope you have a great discussion time. I have a special announcement. Dun, dun, dun. So next week, September 12th at 11 a.m., I will meet you on Zoom. That's right, you did not hear wrong. And I know it's crazy because last week we meet on Zoom. Next week, we're going to meet on Zoom too. Yay! So what I need you to do, there are two things I need you to remember, okay? Number one. Come in Malaysia colors because next Sunday is nearer to Malaysia Day. So come in Malaysia colors in blue, yellow, red, or white. Or you can dress up all four colors, okay? I leave it to you, okay? Or either you can wear traditional clothes of either Cheong Sam, Bajukuro, anything, whatever you want to wear, okay? That is traditional in Malaysia. And number two... Next week, we're going to have Life Kids Cinema. That's right, you did not hear wrong. We're going to have Life Kids Cinema. And how we're going to do that is, we're going to have two to three movies for you. So next week, when you come, we're going to divide you all into the movies that you want to watch. And I'll give all these details to your mommy and daddy much later next week, okay? So get ready for Zoom service again with us next week, September 12th at 11 a.m. And we can't wait for it. Woohoo! We've come to the end of our lesson today. I hope you enjoyed it. Now let's pull our hands together and close in prayer, shall we? Father in heaven, I thank you for this morning. There are times where there are many temptations around me. And I know there are times where I choose other things over you. And also times where I somehow don't remember you in the picture. But Lord, as I grow up, help me to never delay in the work and purpose that you have given to my life. In Jesus' name. And everybody say, Amen. That's all. Bye-bye. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, see you later. Goodbye and we will see you soon.